Here's a very ordinary ruler, which is 30 centimetres long. Now, if it's 30 centimetres long, you would expect to find the midpoint back here at 15 centimetres. That should be the balance point, shouldn't it? If I start with the ruler balanced between just two fingers like that, I don't touch it with anything else, do you think I could move my fingers towards that balance point and keep the ruler on my fingers the whole time when the two fingers touch? Sounds difficult. Let's see if I can do it. I'll start by moving my right finger in a little way, and then I'll stop it, move my left finger in a little way, stop that, right finger a little way, left, right, left, right, left, right. They're coming closer and closer and closer. There they are, together at the 15 centimetre mark, and the ruler's balanced. Well, that looked like a great feat of skill, didn't it? Do you think I could do it with a blindfold on? Hmm, you're probably thinking that's going to be much more difficult because he won't be able to see what he's doing. That's right. What if I try to do it at twice the speed? Sounds even more difficult, doesn't it? Well, let's see if I can. Here we go. Fingers at the outside edges of the ruler, and I'll move them together quickly. And look what happens. I keep it balanced the whole time. Now you're clapping and cheering and saying how clever I am. In fact, I'm not clever at all. You could do it, anybody could do it, without even practicing, because the ruler does it all by itself. In fact, when the fingers come towards one another, you don't decide which one will stop and start. You just try and push them both together, and the ruler stops and starts itself. And it doesn't matter what speed you move your fingers, the fingers will come together at the balance point, halfway along. Try it out for yourself. You'll find out that it does work every time, but then see if you can work out why it works.